And then one time we was in New York. I never forget this night. Um, what was magical about it? Because it was a club. It's kind of like in the hood. I don't remember it because New York clubs are different. They'd be, you know, in the buildings or, but it's different. But um, I don't know if it was in the Bronx somewhere. But it's one club. I forgot the name. It's famous because it had mad hip hop cops out there, hip hop police out there. And um, we come to the venue. All Def Jam and Atlantic Records. I think at the time, Jeezy's a VP for Atlantic Records. So sometimes the people from the office, they like to hang out with us. You know what I mean? So we chilling. And um, the mic man came on. He was like, Rick Ross is in the building, Rose. So I was like, "Uh aha. You know what I mean? It's action. Because, you know what I mean? It's a situation. Um, You know what happened at the BET Awards. Um... So we was there, and the, the the officials from the companies, the labels, they was easing out of the VIP. It was funny as hell, you know what I mean? Because they up there, you know, I ride for my nigga dog. They were that tough shit. But now when Rose came inside the venue and he was facing at us, yo, they all came out till it boiled down. It was me, Jeezy, the camera guy, and his manager. You know, I got established with Jeezy where... He used to more take me. Um, Big J left, and he went, um, I think he went to Birdman or something, but I came the main security. So everywhere we went, I was right next to Jeezy. Um, and um, the cat, i never forget him. They're from some island, either Haitian or Jamaican. And they came over. Jeezy told me, he's like, yo, watch them niggas dread, but I seen them. You know what I mean? Because I peep game. You know, I got that street nigga eye. And our peep game, they came over, they had dreads, and um, they was like, they want to holler at Jeezy. And I was like, you know, we ain't doing that tonight. Jeezy ain't hollering at nobody. And it was like, yo, you know, but they came from over by Rick Ross. You know what I mean? Yeah, I meant to tell you that. They came from over with Rick. They came there with Rick Ross, but they came to test our water. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, I stood up, I hold on the foundation. I was like, we ain't doing that today. And um, he was like, yo, let Jeezy know we some real niggas. You know what I mean? And I was like, yo, we some real niggas too. You know what I mean? But it was cool. It was like some, there was some New York cats though. But they was blended though. They had island in them. Because, you know, I'm from the island. So I can tell, you know, when people, you know, they look like they live in America. Or maybe their dad Jamaican and their mom American. But, you know what I mean? But um, nothing ain't happened after that. Um... Before they talked, I guess T.I. recommended it. We came in, um, our, rec- our rest in peace Rick Ross boy to the old school dude that used to be with him. We came in for some reason. I think we came from, both came from Miami. And we was in the waiting area for um, our cars. And Rick Ross and Jeezy, that's when they started talking. You know what I mean? I don't know what led that, like, not for them being there, but for them to talk, I guess Jeezy bossed up and, like, yo, we need to, you know what I mean? And they talk. So with whatever Tip did, um, I'm not sure it was there because um, a lot of time we've been around Tips on a lot of um, things. Sometimes when they talk in personal conversations, I'm not always around. But at the airport is the first time when i seen them squash it. Okay, and... Now that they've squashed it, you know, are you kind of like a little bit more, you know, chilled out a little bit now that it's it's, it's kind of squashed? Yeah, but at the same time, I still got my third eye open. You know what I mean? Because he squashed it with GZ. That's GZ. That's not me. You know what I mean? GZ never put his hand on him. You know what I mean? But maybe, like, in the end, you know, as the story going, I'll tell you, in the end, I end up gaining some respect for Ross because of some, you know, first thing was when he was like, he, like that was a shout out, you know, give me something special for Christmas. That was one. And then as we go down to the story, I'll tell you again. But um, it was in between. I always, you know what I mean? I was there when they did the War Ready video. That was weird. I was strapped like a motherfucker, though. But um, we did that in Louisiana in a warehouse, a abandoned warehouse. So they were shooting off rounds, but, you know, it was um, blanks, you know what I mean? But I'm just saying, being around in nature, you know, he got his crew, you know what I mean? We got our crew, but, you know, it played out, though. It wasn't no vibe or anything, but it was an odd moment, 
You know what I mean? Because I see people watching me, and I know they probably told him, like, or he told him, like, hey, you know what I mean? I'm just saying, we from the streets. When shit happened to us and we come out or we see opponents, we pull our people on it. You know what I mean? So, you know, it was cool, though. Ain't nothing popped off. But I was geared up, though. That's why I do, like I said, you know, any city, any town. I'm geared up. You know what I mean? What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.